Do you guys want to know a way where you combine your favorite breakfast meal recipe of French toast and your childhood favorite chocolate spread that I know everyone had when they were younger? Can you guys guess? If not, Nutella. Now, if you guys want to know a way to combine both those two things together to make sure that it's not only anabolic, it's going to help you build lean muscle tissue this year, and it's not going to make you put on that additional pounds from all the sugar. Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I make my version of an anabolic chocolate filled French toast. What's going on everyone? It's Coach Angelo, and in today, we're back in Anabolic Kitchen. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna make my version of an anabolic chocolate cream filled French toast that like I mentioned before, it's not only anabolic, high in protein, but low in fat and low in sugar because we're not gonna use the traditional Nutella chocolate spread. We're gonna make a more less sugar and less fat version that you guys can add into this recipe. Before I show you guys the ingredients that we need for this recipe, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, hit that bell button. This way you'll be notified when I post more food recipes like this video. Also on my channel, I post fitness related contact tutorial and tips that's gonna help you guys transform your body and to make this amazing journey that much more exciting. Now that you got that done, let's show you guys the ingredients. Okay, so here's the ingredients we're gonna need to make this recipe. Now, if you guys watched my previous version on making anabolic French toast, if you have it, I'm gonna link it above right over here. Now, for this recipe, it's the same concept as the base that you're gonna need. So what we're gonna be using is we're gonna be using this type of bread. So Bellagio white bread. We're gonna use five slices. And then we have all our other bases for to make it. So we have our vanilla extract. We have our cocoa powder. We have our zero calorie Splenda, cinnamon, and of course, we have our egg whites. Now, to make the chocolate cream filled, what we're gonna be using is we're gonna be using 60 grams of Greek yogurt, fat free. We're gonna use one scoop of your choice of protein powder, and we're gonna throw in a little bit of Walden Farms chocolate syrup. So that's all the ingredients that we're gonna need. Now, let's get cooking. All right, so the very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with the base. So what we're gonna need is we're gonna need 250 grams of egg whites. So let's pour that in. Next, we're gonna do five grams or one teaspoon of cocoa powder. Then we're gonna do another teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then we're gonna pour in three grams of zero calorie sweetener. And then lastly, we're gonna do a few taps of cinnamon. Now that we have all the ingredients in, let's whisk it together. All right, so now that the base is all blended together, let's put this to the side. And then now I'm gonna show you how we're gonna make our chocolate cream filled base. So grab yourself a small mixing bowl. First, we're gonna measure one scoop or 30 grams of your chocolate flavor whey. And then we need 60 grams of fat-free Greek yogurt. And then lastly, we're just gonna add in 30 grams of Walden Farms chocolate syrup. Now that all the ingredients are in, let's mix it together. So now we have it blended together. This is the consistency and the texture that you want, something a little bit creamy. Now I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be doing with the bread. So what you wanna do is grab yourself a cutting board, get yourself a rolling, five slices of bread. And what you're gonna do is grab the bread, put it on the cutting board, grab your rolling, so you want to roll it out to make sure it's nice and thin. This way, when you put the chocolate cream filled, you're able to kind of roll it up. When it's done, it should look something like this. So now we're going to do it to the remaining four. 
Okay, so as you can see now, we have all five breads rolled out like this. Now I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna fill them. What you're gonna do is grab yourself the bread, grab this way. You're gonna grab your chocolate cream filled and we're gonna drizzle it down one side like this. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab it just like this and then roll it just like that. Now a trick that I like to do to keep it to stick is grab yourself a toothpick just for now. Just poke it just like this. And then we're gonna put that to the side. And now we're gonna do it to the remaining four. All right, as you can see now, they're all filled. So we have a total of seven cream filled French toast. And just in case if you have some leftover of the chocolate cream, this is a great thing that you could put on top of rice cakes and you could have that as a snack. So if you want kind of a different snack alternative, so all you can do is grab yourself a few plain rice cakes, grab yourself a scoop of chocolate protein powder and grab yourself 60 grams of Greek yogurt to blend it together and you can put it on top. So for not also you have a low calorie snack, but you have something that's high in protein as well. While I was feeling this, I have the skillet preheated. So, and then what are we gonna do now? Spray it, a little bit of nonstick. The benefit of using a toothpick is you're gonna grab it, dip it in your batter, just like this, and then put it right on top, just like that. Now let's do it to the remaining six. All right, so it's been a few minutes. So now we're just gonna turn them over on each side, just like this. So we're gonna let this sit for another three more minutes and then we're gonna put on the plate. All right, so now you can see they're finally done. So now we're gonna take them out and we're gonna put on the plate just like this. As you can see, we have it on the plate, but we're not done. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna top this off and make it more epic. All right, so we have all the French toast right here, and we're gonna to top it off with my favorite fruit. So we have strawberries, we have 50 grams of strawberries, 40 grams of kiwi, and 30 grams of blueberry, and then we have six grams of PB2 to peanut butter. So we're gonna drizzle this on top. So what are you gonna do? You could decorate this any way you want. I'm gonna show you how I do it, chef style. And then last, the blueberries, put it on top. To garnish it a little bit more, we're just gonna do one tablespoon of Greek yogurt on top, just like that. And then we grab our PB2 powder, we drizzle it, or just like this. All right, everyone, and now you can see, so we have the finale. So we have ourselves seven beautiful chocolate cream filled French toast topped with kiwi, strawberries, blueberries, one scoop of Greek yogurt, and I drizzle some PB2 powder and some chocolate syrup. And if you want, you can add in your choice of zero calorie syrup or low sugar syrup. So we have Walden Farms syrup and strawberry syrup. So. The total macros and calories for this entire meal right here is just 800 calories. So 105 grams of carbs, two grams of fat and 80 grams of protein. Now for one of these, you're looking at only hundred calories. So 13 grams of carbs, 
literally 0.5 grams of fat, so barely any fat, and 10 grams of protein. So this entire recipe, if you're trying to put on muscle mass or trying to gain some weight, you can eat all this, or even if you're trying to lose weight, you could have a big breakfast and maybe smaller meals like throughout the day, or you could divide this into two portions and share it with someone. Also, let me know in the comment section, does this look like a restaurant quality breakfast that you'll get? Cause I think it looks a lot better. So hope you enjoy this recipe. Let me know again in the comment section, what other food recipe you want me to make. This way it could help make your fat loss goal that much easier. Also, if you're looking to transform your body, you need some additional help or support, click the link in my description. And remember, like this video, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everyone.